ISIS released a new video today claiming to show the mass execution of Ethiopian Christians in Libya. Alex Ortiz in Cairo has more on the terror group's growing influence in North Africa. The latest ISIS video delivered a clear and direct threat to Christians in the Middle East. You will not have safety, even in your dreams, until you embrace Islam. Then militants carried out what appears to be a mass execution. Masked men lined up two groups of Ethiopian Christians, shooting some captives and beheading others. Now, this is a very controversial topic. Shall I say it? Yes. Well, the truth must be said. Verse 7, when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, come and see. So I looked and behold, a pale horse. And the name of him who sat on it was death. And Hades followed him, and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth, one quarter, to kill with sword, and hung with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. The fourth seal was opened, a pale horse came out, and the one who was sitting on it was death itself. The fourth seal, when the first one, white horse, peace. Second seal, red horse, martyrdom persecution on Christians. Third horse, black heresy. After heresy came the fourth horse, pale horse, Islam. Go Ahmed. Pale horse, when you go to the original text, it is green color, but it's pale green. Pale horse, when you go to the original text, it talks about the green color, but it's a pale green. Now, when you read the Holy Bible, when it talks about lush green, lush green represents life. The Lord Jesus said, if they had done to the green wood this, what are they going to do to the dry wood? Meaning us, we are the dry wood, he is the green wood. What is the green wood? Green is the sign of life. When you see a green tree, you say this tree is alive, is living. When you see a dry dead tree, there is no sign of life. You say this is a dead tree, true or not. But when you see green, green leaves, fruits, this is the sign of being alive. Dry is dead. Now. The wage of sin is death. A dry branch is us humans. We sin, and because we sin, the wage of that sin is death, and death made us dry wood. What do you do with a dry wood? You throw it into the fire and you burn it. It goes to hell. But Jesus is the only wood that is green, meaning he is the only human being on the face of this earth that is sinless. Jesus never sinned, neither with thought nor with deed. Every human being sinned except Jesus Christ. That's why he is the evergreen tree, meaning the ever living Jesus, the sinless Jesus, the holy of holies. This horse is imitating the green color, but it's a fake one, it's pale. You with me? Oh, Habibi, this is not me saying, this is Islam saying, not me. And by the way, with all my love and respect to the Muslim people, I don't have a problem with the Muslim people, but I've got a question mark with the faith of the Islamic world. Now, the fourth seal, a pale green pale. You look at Saudi Arabia's flag, it's green. And what's on it? Two swords. The one who was sitting on, the, on this pale horse was death. In relation to the fourth seal, the pale horse came, the false green. Trying to imitate the true green, who is Jesus. Now the word Joseph means the green one. 
Now our, fa our father Joseph in the Old Testament who was sold by his brothers, he symbolized Jesus Christ who is the true Joseph because he is the only true green branch. So Jesus is the true Joseph. He is the evergreen. So now this pale horse is trying to imitate the original green. He is trying to imitate Christ in his divinity, but he is now pale going against the true green. And the one who sits on it is death itself. The living creature that spoke, the flying eagle, the gospel of St. John. Now, what is the gospel of St. John all about? St. John is introducing Jesus Christ to the entire world as the true divine God. And he is the son of God. You go to the Islamic faith, I need to cut it short. You go to the Islamic faith, they will tell you two things. Or they will deny two things about Jesus Christ. Number one, he cannot be the son of God because that's a blasphemy. God cannot have a son. You are blaspheming. That's the Islamic faith, not me. And secondly, Jesus was never crucified, but it was shown to them as if it was Jesus. In fact, they say God put Judas Iscariot on the cross instead of Jesus. Judas Iscariot. Aha. Islam came in 635 AD. The Gospel of John was written around 100 AD. So 535 years came after the Gospel of John. John is an eyewitness, my dear Muhammad. John is an eyewitness. He lived with Jesus. He walked with Jesus. He saw Jesus wonders and miracles and he documented it fresh fresh so you're telling me that I, now i need to believe in someone coming six centuries or seven centuries after the holy bible was documented you want me to believe in a document that came seven centuries after the holy bible you want me to believe in someone that never saw Jesus, never lived with Jesus, never walked with Jesus, over the one who walked, lived, ate, embraced Jesus Christ every single day for three years and four months. Where is the logic?